In our examples, the automation system will have three automation stations. In some cases, these are redundant, along with devices and remote I.O. stations connected to Profibus. The first example illustrates a small system with one engineering station and a single station on which both OS runtime and batch server and client functionality are installed. The PC should have at least two monitors so that there is enough screen space to be able to control and monitor the batch control center, batch CC, and the OS at the same time. In the second example, two operators will control and monitor the system at the same time. The automation systems always have one engineering station connected at all times. A client server architecture is installed for operator control and monitoring and for semantic batch. The ES server is connected to the automation stations over the system bus. There is also a terminal bus, over which the two clients are connected and at which the two operators work. The displayed process values, messages and pictures come from the server. All operator input to the automation station is through the server. The engineering station is also connected to the terminal bus over which downloads are made to the clients and server. Let's now look to see where the Sematic Batch software components are installed in this architecture. The Batch engineering software is installed on the engineering station. The server PC contains the batch server software for 150 process objects and the hierarchical recipes option. In the architecture, we also want to be able to create recipes on one of the clients. This means that the recipe editor is required on this client. We also want this operator to be able to control and monitor the running of the batch, so that a batch control center is also required here. A further batch CC is installed on the second client. Since the batches will be planned here, the batch planning option is also installed on this client. In the third example, six operators will control and monitor the system at the same time. The engineering station is once again connected to the automation stations over industrial Ethernet. Due to the more exacting requirements, the two OS servers are set up redundantly. Both pairs of servers are connected to the terminal bus. A redundant OS server setup requires separate batch servers that are also set up redundantly in this case. The combined OS and batch clients from the previous example are extended by two OS clients without batch and two batch clients without OS. The batch engineering software is once again installed on the engineering station. The two redundant batch server PCs both have the server software and the options Hierarchical Recipes, ROP Library, and the Separation of Procedure and Formula installed on them. The recipes will be created on Client 1. This, therefore, has the recipe editor and semantic logon. However, it is without a batch control center. Clients 3 and 4 are simply OS clients for operator control and monitoring of part of a plant that is independent of Sematic Batch. Batch planning and control will be handled on clients 2, 5 and 6. Here, in addition to the OS software and the Batch Control Center, the Batch Planning option and Sematic Logon are also installed. Since access protection and electronic signatures are also required, the Admin tool is installed on Client 2. The fourth and last example is based on example three. Due to the additional requirements for availability, redundant domain controllers will be used to provide user management. An additional PC with Sematic IT and a customized application will also be installed. These communicate with Sematic Batch using the Batch API. To support Sematic IT and the custom application, the batch API is installed on the two batch servers. In the four examples,